I have a favorite plant. It's getting to be pretty known, and it's called cannabis. The health benefits that I'm seeing for specifically children. What is the deal with this plant? It has caused so much, and here I am, I'm such a troublemaker. It's the thing that has so much controversy going on. Should it be legal? Should it not be legal? Everybody's sort of, you know, up in arms about that. I want to know what I could do to play my part in bringing that to be something anytime, that... Anytime you're wanting to promote anything, mm -hmm. hold in your vibration the benefits of it as you see them from mm -hmm. wherever you stand. And most people don't do that. Yeah. They hold the benefit, but then they push against the people who are pushing against. Right. So the airtime that they give is not about the benefits. Mm -hmm. The airtime that they give is about the resistance. So they actually promote the opposite of what they mean to promote. Right. So this is the answer to every question about anything that mm -hmm. you're wanting to encourage. Give your attention to the aspects of it that you are appreciating, period, mm -hmm. period. That's it. And leave out the rest. You just give no fucks. That's the basic <laughs> gist of it. Well, it isn't that you don't care. In other words, we're not saying don't be decided. That's not our message. Mm -hmm. That's your daughter's. We're not saying mm -hmm. don't be decided. We're not saying don't care. We're saying don't work against yourself by pushing against the part you don't want. Mm -hmm. We're saying that law of attraction abounds. Law of attraction is the basis of everything. Mm -hmm. So when you think about the positive aspects of something as you see it and you activate that in your vibration, you're calling that to you. And you're not just calling that to you. You're calling a clear path of mm -hmm. that to you. Mm -hmm. But when you say, but this is the way that it is now you block that clear path. Yeah. by sending out a mixed signal about with all it. the other ish that's going on. Around and so the when you said, what's the deal with mm -hmm. this? Why is this such a lightning rod? Well, the reason that it's a lightning rod is because for the most part, it's misinformation. For the most part, the voices that are speaking the loudest about it are those who have had the least experience with it. Mm -hmm. That's part right. of it. The other thing is because there is another movement that happens around your environment that goes like the more things that we can find that people naturally want that we can make illegal then the more our economic right. empire but even in those statements we activate within you a pushing against of something that you do not want sure. we would like to point out that this is a substance that has been illegal for a very long time and is perhaps the most used substance yeah. on the planet <laughs> and so the laws don't really seem to be hindering those who care about it right. and so we think those who are really proclaiming the injustice of the law mm -hmm. are using that is an excuse to hold themselves right. against what they want. And the thing that is so really ironic about the whole thing is that what this substance actually does is causes you to disassociate so much that it causes you to be more in the receptive mode in terms of vibration, but lousy in your ability to translate from that mode. Yeah. In other words, it puts you in the receptive mode, yeah. but you don't have a clue how to translate the vibration into anything yeah. that's meaningful. So it's just sort of like, hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> True. So we're not proponents of it or proponents against it. We're proponents of alignment. Yeah. And so many people are looking for a cause. Mm -hmm. And most of those causes really work against you because all it does is cause you to activate something within you and gather together with a whole bunch of other people that are activated against mm -hmm. it and then justify for yourself your reason for pushing hard against and disallowing yourself from being in the receptive mode and then blaming all of those in authority for you not allowing the abundance that is coming to you. And there is not a law in the universe that can block your receptive mode. Yeah. There are no laws against yeah. that. There are no laws against you tuning in directly to source energy, you see. So Delicious. we'd go direct to source and leave the cannabis out of it. <laughs> My other question is, I guess you've already answered it in what we've been talking about with writing this next book. I guess just let it download itself. Yeah, receptive mode, just receive mm -hmm. it.
it's the trying that gets in the way yeah. of most things but you got to find that balance because if you don't put yourself in the mode where receiving is possible mm. so it's a matter of expectation is really the operative word here today mm -hmm. because if you're not expecting to receive then you're not going to set time aside if you're not expecting to receive then you're not going to even be thinking about the things that you'd like to hear about mm -hmm. and so you just can't miss there's no possible way that you cannot be in the receptive mode you are all of you at one point or another every single day mm -hmm. and so it's just a matter of recognizing when you are and then beginning to pay attention to what things you might do to make that be more of the time mm -hmm. one of the things that we've noticed is that as you get further into the day you pick up on more things that you use as your reason not to be in the receptive mode so you're usually more in the receptive mode earlier in the day before you've gathered up so many things mm -hmm. and the reason for that is while you were asleep your point of attraction subsided and so the momentum about everything subsided so when you first wake up the only path that's lighted mm -hmm. the only path that's really calling you is this path of least resistance of who you really are so that's the time when you're most likely to be in the receptive mode and so we would plan for that we would set aside time early and plan for that but we would also say to ourselves I'm not going to make this happen I'm going to allow this to happen yeah. I'm going to allow this to happen haven't you noticed even as you watch the athletes don't you see them and you hear the words I'm not on my game tonight I'm on my game I'm not on my game and you got to wonder well if you're capable of doing that most of the time why aren't you capable of doing that all of the time yeah. why is the time space relationship between what you're trying to accomplish difficult under these conditions and easy under these conditions what's the factor what's the factor that makes the difference mm -hmm. and the factor is always the same thing it's only one factor it's how much of my broader resources am I allowing myself to experience right here and now how much vibrational clarity am I allowing myself to translate into a manifestation and so everything is about that now there are a lot of people who believe and there is some reason for them to believe this that the more they perform certain actions then the more their expectation increases well we think that that is accurate the more you do something then the more comfortable you become at it and the more you do it then the more you can sort of luck into some of the things and mm -hmm. your expectation can gradually grow from action-based approach mm -hmm. but it is really slow going there is so much faster way and that is by letting your dominant intent be to recognize alignment or not rather than saying how many times can I put this ball in that basket rather than that conditional question right. we would ask the question which do I prefer clarity or confusion and what does clarity feel like and what does confusion feel like what do I prefer a feeling of energy or a feeling of lethargy and think about what that lethargy feels like think about what that energy feels like would I rather feel precision or awkwardness what emotional vantage point feels the best to me and so in playing with this a little bit with the words that are emotional what you begin to show yourself is that without any conditions being involved you can begin to clean up energy you can begin to feel more clarity more vitality more stamina more right place right time more timing more intuitiveness more deja vu more awareness more perspective more timing you begin to notice that there are all of these things that are evident all around you in the physics of your world that you actually can harness and utilize personally mm -hmm. in the same way that your scientists and mechanics have discovered how to harness electricity even though they don't even come close to understanding it they don't understand its mm -hmm. source by trial and error they have figured out how to harness it mm -hmm. you can with your physical body figure out how to harness the energy that creates worlds I and how that. to focus it in meaningful ways in your experience yeah and so if you put that first and then you follow through mm. with the inspiration for a while we said get into the vortex and then right. now we're saying get into that feeling place find that feeling place and then and then what 
it's not step one two three get into the feeling place and then take the action it's just one step get into the feeling place and follow the inspiration mm -hmm. because when you get into that vibration of alignment since everything that you've been asking for has already been known mm -hmm. received cataloged yeah. prioritized beautiful understood in other words the outline for your book is already there the calling of the world for it is already there yes. everything's already known by all that is and what's your job receptive mode lining up what's this. your mode receptive mode yeah. receptive mode Esther would say Abraham how about an outline and we'd say how about you mind your own business <laughs> Of course we said that in the most loving way of course how about you just take it as it comes and not try to get yourself yeah. too far down the road just take yeah. it as it comes get your head out of this living in the moment really moment to moment and the last few months i've really tuned out a lot of people to focus in on well, my vibration we'd say it this way rather than tuning anyone out just tune something in yeah. because everybody you try to tune out you tune they in. come back in yeah. you, you don't tune anybody out you tune them in while you're trying to tune them out that's true it's the way law of attraction works you're tuning in those you mean to tune out well my so. phone just stopped working it wouldn't work in my house that was great you know at first it annoyed me and then I was like oh this is blissful you know I can't hear from anyone so the universe really was doing the work for me well I just, you all are so interconnected these days that it's a rare one of you who can hear us yeah we'll be streaming you'll be getting it and then they'll do that and so that impulse to keep dropping it and breaking it that's us yeah yes you guys definitely did some damage to my phone reception for sure and I needed it because I I had to do the work to get well we're playing with you mostly but you are distracted you have taken multitasking to the absurd yeah and in that there's action and condition action mm -hmm. and condition that is fine when you're tuned in tapped in turned on in other words nothing feels better than to be in alignment and feel the flow of all of the aspects as it comes to oh, you yeah. but get there first and then let your inspiration come to you from source not from Facebook from source yes, from yeah. source rather than your streaming friends who are texting you constantly in yeah. other words you might want to just get a text that you text back that says in the receptive mode yeah. <laughs> be back later or go away yeah. do not disturb yeah okay enough yes really good thank